Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to share a very quick message about the idea that I don't want to learn more doctrine. Like, I'm done. And you know what's funny is、um, you might think, be thinking in your mind, you're like, I've never said that. I'm, I'm always open to learning more. But、um, what it comes out is,、uh, you know, because me being a member of the church、uh, 2006, and I'm not here to judge anybody, but I'm just trying to show you what I perceived. Because、um, <laughs> when I got baptized, The funniest thing that I did was actually I, I wanted to go to the Mecca, what I believe was the Mecca of Mormonism. So I went straight to Utah. Like, literally, I think it was the night I got baptized. I just took off for a flight to Utah. I looked for a job there.、Um, I got like, a, I think I worked at Verizon. And、um, yeah, basically, I was totally open to go to BYU Education Week. And I wanted to learn from teachers. I came there hungry with like notebooks. And it was funny because when I went there, I went with my cousins and they're like, oh man, BYU Education Week. Like, I don't even know if they were like excited about it, but they didn't want to like look, I don't know, maybe look bad because I was just this hungry convert who was like, I want to learn everything. I want to learn everything. Just take it all in. Just give it to me. I've been so hungry, just starving for 26 years. Give me food. Give me spiritual food. And so,、um, but there comes a point. There comes a point. Where, I don't know if you've been a member of the church for a while or whatever, but、uh, there comes a point where you become the LDS member or、uh, Mormon member that、uh, when I would say something because of what I've learned, because of what I've prayed about, key, learned and prayed about.、Uh, if, if you don't know why I'm saying pray, it's because. The Moroni promise, the way I got into the church, is because they asked me to pray about certain things. Why is it any different? It hasn't changed yet. And,、um, you know, so,、uh, so anyway, what happens is I met some people that、uh, didn't actually, they unconsciously got on a plateau. What, what, what do I mean by that?、Um, they're doing everything right in church. They, they take their sacrament, they, they, do, uh, they go to the temple, they do everything right.、Um, but, Uh, I believe that Joseph Smith wanted us to learn, to continue to learn about the mysteries of God. And、uh, this is a very controversial topic. Some people are like, oh, that, does, that stuff doesn't matter. And it, the, the reason why it was called a mystery is because it's a mystery to you now. It's a mystery to me because I haven't like, sought into it. If we weren't meant to ask more questions, we would not have. Doctrine and covenants at all.、Uh, in fact, Joseph Smith was the master asker. So, are we looking down upon Joseph Smith? The fact that he asked, well, he's a prophet. That's, well, if that's what you're thinking, then you probably wouldn't like it when he said this. Because <laughs>、uh, I thought it was very, very interesting.、Um, he basically said that he wanted all of us, all of us members of the church, To be able to learn more. And、um, the only problem was it was just this one small little problem. It's that we weren't ready for it. He was, there's milk and there's meat and there's fat steak. Like there's milk, which is the very easy gospel principles, baptism,、uh, receiving the Holy Ghost, faith, repentance. There's milk. And、then there's meat. Paul, one of the greatest apostles in the church,、uh, was looking to、um, provide meat, but he had to withhold it and it hurt him. He didn't want to stay in the milk. He was like, I'm over the milk. We know the milk. Let's learn more about what God knows. Let's learn more about why he does the things that he does.、Um, anyway, it said here. It is apparent that Prophet Joseph Smith did not impart all that he saw in vision. For he later said, I could explain a hundredfold more than I ever have the glories of the kingdoms、um, manifested to me in the vision where I permitted,、uh, if I were permitted, and were the people prepared to receive them. So it's really interesting. So he,、uh, he realized, he's like, you know, I would have given you more, but it's just. You guys weren't ready for it. Well, I don't want to be ready for it. If, if, if Joseph Smith told me this, I would ask him, What do I need to do to be ready for it? And I believe the answer is 
Just be open for it. And um, just be open for it. You know, open to the idea that there's things that you don't know. So back to when I was in Utah, what happened is I started learning a lot. I started reading doctrinal books. Now, no one taught me until I really started learning the spirit of Joseph Smith. The spirit of Joseph Smith is like, is this, is this verse, which is, you know, it is my meditation all day and more than my meat and drink to know how I shall make the saints of God to comprehend the visions that roll like an overflowing surge before my mind. What he was saying is that he didn't want, he wanted us to comprehend not the visions that he was giving. He was trying to help us to comprehend that we too can have visions and we too could see what he saw. Um, in fact, he was able to have visions with two men on the grass, two of his good friends, um, and he was able to see Adam and Eve way out in yonder heavens, and they noticed that Eve had a sort of uh, masculine body, and uh, or not a masculine, but a very like larger, like she was large in stature, and so was so was Adam, probably because she was, um, you know, she was the first woman here, and she had to toil just like Adam. And, and work in the fields, and so she probably was uh, bigger in stature. But the point was is that he was a sharing prophet. He didn't say, here, let me show you. He's one of the main prophets of all the prophets that he was a sharing prophet. He wanted to bring people together and say, watch with me. Watch what I see. And th that should mean something to you. That should mean something to me. That should mean something to my posterity, is that if we really want to honor what Joseph Smith was doing, then we wouldn't say these words. I keep like holding back to you what these words are. These words, when I would meet a Latter-day Saint who has kind of made the unconscious decision to not progress, is they would say, that's interesting. I don't know if you've heard that phrase. I heard it a lot because I would look into something, read it, pray about it, and I found something new for myself. And it's the truth. They don't know it's the truth, but it is the truth to me. And then they just kind of, the, the first thing, it's negative. It's skeptical, and they just kind of go, eh, well, that's an interesting thought. But it has like a negative tone to it. Like, I think you're reading too much into it. Oh, I think you shouldn't be involved in the mysteries. And oh, and man, over and over, when I was at LDS Business College, over and over and over again, I've heard, oh, that's interesting. Um, hmm, wouldn't look too much into that, and that's interesting, you know? And they don't know that I've done my research, I've prayed about it, maybe I've even received a vision about it. I'm not going to tell them, but I've received things and they just don't want to hear it. So here's what I found out. I think we should start. 2015, this should be the year where we decide to respect the honor, the respect and honor the spirit of Joseph Smith, which is let's seek more information. Let's pray about things. The, the Holy Ghost will testify if it's true or not true. So don't be scared. Go out there and learn more. It's okay. It's okay to learn about the mysteries. I mean, it's okay as long as you're not taking your eyes off the mark, which is like become celestial beings. Like if, if you're kind of going away from that school of God where you're like baptized, doing temple work and serving in your callings, then please don't look into the mysteries. But if you've got that down and you're, and you're trying your best, why not learn more about what God wants us to know? And that knowledge will transfer from this life to the next. So I just wanted to share that. It's just, if you do hear that phrase, hmm, isn't that interesting? Or if you've heard yourself say that phrase, I even say it sometimes. I go, hmm, it's interesting. What we're saying to ourselves is that we have become complacent in learning more. And uh, shame on myself. I should, I should always be looking for more information because as I learn more truth, I feel more power. I actually, I learn how much God loves us even more. I feel the love of God. In the end, what we all want to feel is the love of God. As we read more about what God does, who God is, the nature of God, we tend to be filled with the love of God. As we act upon it, upon the principles that we learn, we even feel more in the love of God. So why not? Why not receive that love? So with that, I'm not I'm not interested in learning a bunch of information and holding it inside. I'm very aware that if you if you're a cup and you give people water, that your cup expands. And that's what I'm looking to do is just find more people that are open to drink and then I and then I get more filled. My joy gets more filled. So hopefully 
uh, like I said, I just I make the challenge that not to say it's interesting anymore. Just for every time you hear something new, be like, or your friend tells you some new doctrine or some new things about uh, what we believe, but you've never heard it before. Just look into it. Just change your thought. Just I'm going to look into it and I'm going to pray about it. And wow, I did find truth in it. This is amazing. And I feel, I feel the love of God as I read this information. So I want to testify to you that Joseph Smith does want us to um, learn the mysteries of God. I know that he wants us to feel the love of God as we learn more about him. And that love of God we can share with his brothers and sisters. And I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.